Hey, Flask developers. Fed up with deployment headaches? Interversal, lightning fast deployments, effortless scaling, and it's all free. Let's ditch the hassle and get your Flask app live. Proper folder structure is key for smooth Versal deployments. We'll establish a virtual environment and organize our project files for optimal performance. Create a fresh new folder and then create a virtual environment in our folder by using the command python space hyphen m vent space venv and then hit enter. And then we are going to activate the environment by using the command that's showing on the screen. Here we created the virtual environment in our directory. Now, inside our activated virtual environment, let's install Flask by using the following command pip install Flask. Folder structure is super important for Flask on Versal. Let's carefully set up our project to make sure the deployment goes smoothly. Let's create our main Flask application file named app.py. This file contains the core Flask imports, app initialization, our index routes that uses a template, and instructions to run the app in debug mode. Let's create a templates folder. This is where Versal expects to find our HTML files. And inside it we are going to create index.html file. To optimize for Versal, we'll create a static folder, adding subfolders for CSS, JS, and images. This setup ensures our assets are easily served during deployment. Inside that static folder and its CSS subfolder, we'll create a style.css file to hold our website styling. Within our static folder and its JS subfolder, let's create a script.js file to store our JavaScript code. Let's add an images subfolder within our static folder. This is where we'll keep all image assets for our website. Who needs HTML when you can have Python errors? Wait, I need HTML. We'll save time by using some pre-written HTML for our index.html. This lets us focus on the core Versal deployment steps. Let's save some time. I have the CSS code ready, so we can concentrate on the Versal deployment. Before we go live, let's give our project a quick test drive. We'll run the Flask server locally to catch any potential hiccups. To start the server, navigate to your project directory in your terminal and run the command python app.py. Awesome! No errors in sight. And check out that background animation, such a nice, dynamic feel to the page. And let me know what you think of the background animation in the comments below.
Alright, time for the secret sauce, Versal.json. This little file plays a huge role in making Versal deployment super smooth for our Flask app. Now that we've added this code to Versal.json, let's break down what each section means for our deployment. Version 2 specifies the Versal configuration file format we're using. Builds, this tells Versal how to build our project. Roots, this controls how Versal handles incoming web requests. And here's a heads up, it's best to leave this Versal.json exactly as is unless you're really comfortable with Versal customizations. Let's ensure a smooth deployment with a requirements.txt file. This tells Versal the exact modules our app needs. Instead of typing them manually, we'll use a quick command to do the work for us. You should see the command appear on your screen. All right, time to shift gears. Let's head over to GitHub, create a new repository, and upload our project files. Now, let's be careful and add files to our repository exactly as I'm doing. This will ensure a smooth deployment to Versal. Alright, our files are safely uploaded to GitHub. Now, let's jump into Versal. We'll be creating a brand new Versal account, so follow closely and don't miss a step. By the end, you'll have your Flask app ready to be deployed in minutes. Next step, connecting your Git provider. We're using GitHub, so let's select that option. Okay, let's bring our Flask project into Versal. Since we're not using Node.js or Next.js, we'll go with the Import Project option. Versal will show you all your GitHub repositories, simply pick the one we just created and continue the setup. Since our setup is already optimized, we don't need to change any settings here. Let's go ahead and click Deploy. Now, Versal will do its magic, give it a minute or two to work. Hold on, we've got an error, perfect. This is how we learn. Let's carefully analyze the message and figure out where we need to make a fix. Okay, the error points us to the Versal.json file. Let's open that up and see what might be amiss. Oops, someone, definitely me, forgot to save the Versal.json. Rookie mistake, but a funny one. Okay, easy fix. Let's save Versal.json and give that deployment another go. One of the reasons I love Versal, it handles those tedious redeployments for you. Update your code on GitHub and watch your live website change without any extra effort. This is awesome. It's deployed, and we can see our website's homepage right here on the dashboard. Let's give it a test run, click on that link to open our website in a new tab. Plus, let's copy the domain and check it out in a fresh window for the full experience. And there you have it. Now you can easily deploy your Flask projects to live websites. This unlocks the ability to build a strong portfolio, attract recruiters, and turbocharge your career opportunities. Alright, if you learned something new today, give that subscribe button a tap, let's see if we can hit 500 subscribers. More cool Flask stuff coming your way, so stay tuned.